Hey guys, Fury here, and today we're on Minecraft Java on Better MC. The Better MC is literally just a Minecraft mod on Java Edition that adds in a whole new array of stuff. And as you can see, this world is looking beautiful with my first two builds up in front of us. So, Better MC is going to be our new series, and it's just a mod pack to get on Java Edition, the latest version of 1.19.2. And it's just an array of new blocks, new biomes, literally everything you could ever need, and it's absolutely amazing. But first, let's start off with my starter house. So, over there, right there, that little build up of dirt that used to be my starter house, I then turned it to just fit in with the mountain because I ended up building this thing within the first day of starting this world. So as you can see, it looks quite nice. There's these spruce shelves, which I've used as beams going around there's wooden frames which are literally just made from sticks four sticks four wooden frames which are a really good mod pack and we go through here because they've got storage so I've got cutting board with an iron knife uh, I did not mean to do that we have the iron knife there on the cutting board just for storage for now cut things like mutton into cooked mutton chops on slice cuts of salmon cuts of pod raw salmon raw pod your normal Minecraft stuff, just with a bit of extra things. So this, uh, each of these blocks is just four of the fish. So it would be 30 times four, six times four, whatever. And then you can cut them off and you cook them. And over here we've got onions, carrots, potatoes, sweet berry cookies, which are basically sweets, and then sweet berries, which I have at the back just there. I found a little village thing. I've got a brewing stand and a cauldron. Go upstairs, I've got more shelves. I've got screw drawers for just a bunch of stuff. These are all my wood stuff. I've got my stone cutter up here. My screw shells, all the books that you get throughout this whole world, telling you different things like quests for the next updates or uh, how to decorate your house, all that sort of stuff. Then I found enchanted uh, fishing rod, as you can see, I'm also sit on stairs now. It's a bit irritating when you're coming stuff. Wait, let's go back upstairs and uh, fishing rod. So I think it's I'm breaking to I'm breaking three. I'm breaking three. I found this in a village, I think. Got two flint knives on the smaller screw shells, and like I was saying, I got these. And these are screw shutters, which are basically trap doors, but they work like doors. So they open and close. You can stack them up so you have one over here or two over here or three here, whatever you want. I've then got a copper kiln, which is basically melt things like stone or iron, or whatever. But it goes at a much faster rate, sort of like a blast furnace, but not the exact same. Then we've just got some general storage. You can get a spruce chest, and we have different chests for whatever you make out of, which is pretty nice. We then have other blocks here. So in here we have holly logs, in here we have aspen logs, and then you have normal stuff, and then these are coconut logs come from palm trees really nice now let me show you my underground bit there's something I love about Java we can do this thing I can't do some bedrock for that water so I've got my copper storage iron storage emerald storage a gold storage which I have well and then my lapis storage then over here when I get some leather this is probably gonna be cool storage why do you get more coal anyway going back up we're going to go have a look at the small island that I built over here. So the island in front of us, I spent a couple of hours designing it and building it all in Minecraft. I didn't use creative on this world, I didn't creative to plan it. I just built it, I went with it, and to be honest, I quite really like the design. So the general theme for this build and the collection of islands that I'm going to build it is to be these mechanized sort of floating islands. With all this oak logs, I want to make them look like you know wooden hogs that like, turning, trying to create a levitation for this island. And in between each of the cogs, you can see that I've got a bunch of stuff like stone, deep slate, cobblestone, dirt, whatever, right? Now the point of this look like it's levitating, but still got that island feel. I think I got most of what I wanted to do with it. It didn't end up going perfectly. So in the next island, which I'm using to connect off with these chains, I'm going to try and build more around the cogs, but when you get more to the bottom, 
see the cogs popping out a lot more. The way you go up this thing, you just go up one of the waterfalls, and then you end up in this small central area with two crafting tables, stone cutter, some furnaces, composter. I don't have much here right now. When I do have more, it'll be great. Now up here is my wheat farm. So as you can see, I've got wheat crops growing up here. I've got some hay bales, and I've got small spruce pots. Basically, you get some spruce logs, put them together in a crafting table like you would wood or spruce planks, and then you make these things, which is quite nice. Then this is actually stone circular paving. So I just use stone cutter down there, turn normal stone into this, and then got black smooth sandstone. So there's different colors of sand now. Uh, as you can see on my map, I have icon over here, sand question marks as my question mark. I think that's blue and purple sand over there for when I need to go and collect it. Over here, there's a spawner, two unknown structures I haven't actually explored yet, and then a fisherman's boat. That's quite cool, to be honest. But yeah, this thing, this is going to bridge up to the next island. That island is going to bridge over to over there, and then over there, and it's going to be a nice small collection of islands, each with different purposes. Now let me show you my small hidden base. This is a single player server, but I thought, you know what? How about I just try and make a heat base anyway? So over here is my factory. Stone, you can make stone doors, and if you click one, you open both. Amazing. Stone stairs and stone walls just for a little corridor in. And I've got campfires. I've been making a bunch of dried kelp, one of the chests over there, which I can then use as a fuel source, and then use coal for lamp and other things I might need to maybe decoration with whole blocks and things like that. So dried kelp is mainly going to be my new fuel source, but using campfires to cook it up is a lot more efficient. We close the doors and go up here, as you can see I've started to make all the way up, if I can go to the top of this mountain here, it's a little hill. And then we go up here, see the little cliff above us with the tree. It's quite a nice view, I do want to make some sort of stone balcony, and yeah, I think it's pretty nice. So now, I'm going to go and show you to the fisherman's boat. Over to the fisherman's boat, I've realised, what if I build an oil rig out here? I've got a bunch of stuff from there, and I was thinking, one of my older worlds, I wanted to build an oil rig. What if I industrialise this world, and get industrialised iron and stuff, craft it up? I'm thinking, what if I just make an industrial world? Let me know what you guys think of that flow. Well, I'll meet you at the fisherman's boat. As you can see right in front of me, we are now arriving to the boat. The way waypoints work in this, you just go to a chunk and then down, blah, blah, blah. Very easy to do. But as you can see, we have now arrived at this little boat which inspired me by an oil rig or some sort of shit. As you can see, Coriander Zace the Fisherman, all of the villagers have specialized names. This one, Imagine Gosling. So I got a bunch of stuff from these barrels, very easy, that's how I got quite a bit of my loot. And then we go to this guy, an emerald fortress, a quick card, 10 gold for one emerald. So eventually when I have more stuff, I'm going to come back to this guy, I'm going to build a bunch of ships around him. Maybe some of the villagers from the underground village, I'm going to transform above sea, or above the ground, move them over here somehow, probably boats, set their spawns here. And I'm probably just going to build a little fleet, probably just around this boat. I'm going to try and build like one big boat and then in the distance over. It's still in render distance from that big boat, I do want to have the oil rig. But now, let's go look at one of the unknown structures. This is unknown structure 2, 100 meters away, that's about the same distance. So we're going to go to this one first, we're going to see what's in there. And yeah, so... Let's go! So we have a small farm here, so carrots, potatoes, wheat, beetroot. I am actually going to take some beetroot to that. Good. 
So we're gonna have some beetroot now, which is good. Uh, plant pots. I'm gonna drop the plant pot, but I'm keep cactus. I'm gonna see is there any? Oh, there's bamboo as well. Sorry, this is so bamboo and cactus. Definitely gonna farm those two. Mushroom, don't really need. I didn't know you could put flowering gazelle in this. That's really cute. I'm definitely gonna do that then. Uh, going through here. Or moss room with ivy, I assume, like, like yeah, so like vines, moss, and as you can see, all the blocks are textured together, so it sort of blends together. It's really nice. There's hummus, makes me want to get some beetles and hummus. Uh, we got spore blossoms there, more bamboo up top. It's a really nice and sort of lush place. As we have some shroom lights around here as well, flower room. And um, what is over here? I think over here is the cauldron and are these beehives. Oh, these are all beehives. So there must have been bees somewhere here or something. Cauldron there, chest, anything in it? No? Okay, that's not a problem though, because it's actually quite a nice place. I quite like the way that this structure has been built. I really like these cauldrons and tripwire hooks. And spruce barrels. So I do think at some point we are gonna use this place. It's not right now, but maybe in the near future. Well, that's the MJ episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. Now I'll see you all later. Have a great day, have a great night. Bye.